All right, so we'll start with this. And then we'll talk about the rag doll. And then we'll talk about turns of the dip. What's up, gang? It's Brian B and Miss Megan, and we are gonna talk about dips for West Coast Swing. We did a short video where we talked about the basic dip that we did for West Coast Swing. We actually did it this way in the video where we rolled in and just did a basic dip, but we're gonna cover it from soup to nuts. So what's the first thing we need to talk about when we talk about turning a follower into a dip, Miss Megan? Your favorite subject, a side of connection. <laughs> Turns. Turns. <laughs> so if we're dancing a basic inside turn, right, this would be the most basic version two, three, and four to set up for a dip. The first thing I have to do is make sure that my partner is not wobbling all over the place and that I can manage the connection. We're going to do this front and back, but let's talk basic footwork turns for you to set this up. All right, so followers, our footwork is going to go forward, forward. Now we're going to bring our feet together step down line, and step back. So from the leader's perspective, I'm kind of thinking about this right from the jump, right? When I'm dancing with my partner, I'm kind of going, hey, if I just lead her for a turn, he or her, um, what does that look like? Is she flying away from me? Is the turn staying tight? Because if that's bad, I'm probably not gonna attempt it. But assuming that's good, and we'll do this from the back, this is the setup for the basic dip, and we'll talk uh, footwork for in a second, but basically as Megan's turning in walk, walk, she's turning in, I'm looking to put my fingers into the middle of her spine, so on this side of her. I don't want them wrapped on the other side. The reason why is as she continues to turn in, she's gonna land right there, and then we're gonna talk about the different options we can do for this side. So that's the first part, and I'm actually gonna do this Let's go with this hand. We'll show you both different ways. We're gonna do this with a duck. We're gonna do all sorts of variations. So we're going walk, walk. I'm looking for her spine right there to pick that up. At that point, I wanna be able to put this hand, I can put it kind of in my pocket. I almost imagine that I'm heading towards this pocket. I've seen people put it up here. That's totally fine. I like this because it's secure and this hand is free to go behind her back. So that's the second step, the setup. Footwork wise though, I can fudge my footwork, but the key is I have to leave my left foot free. What I can't do is this, one, two, three, and four, and be on this left foot, because if she takes her weight far that way, there's nothing for me to stop her. I'm just gonna do like the wedding couples do and like lean <laughs> over you and that stuff. So my key is I wanna create a footwork pattern that leaves my left foot free to take her into the dip. So what I'm gonna do here is just simply walk. We're gonna go one, two, three, and four, right? So one, two, three, four for me, leaving my left foot free. So now I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see this. I'm not only stepping to my left, I'm also gonna step diagonally behind her. So if I step to my left, right, she's out in front of me. If I can step diagonally this way, then we would have what we call look ma, no hands right, because I've put her super safe. This is how we teach our wedding couples that don't dance professionally or even socially. So that's the safest setup for the dip. If we look at it from this side, we go one, two, three, four for my footwork. I'm gonna come here, my left foot's free, I'm gonna put this behind her so I can take a step with her. Now, what are the common mistakes that we see in that setup? What do the followers do that's not good? Followers. You have a tendency to dip before they dip you. Glad you said that. That's exactly what I was thinking, right? So <clears throat> what I want to do is just like West Coast Swing, I've led her to this position and stopped her. It's now me that leads with my left foot and my body weight to take her into the dip, right? It will look as if it's all happening at the same time and she's flying through. And in a lot of cases, that is what's happening. That's what's happened when we compete is this happens. We're going to do the duck right here is I am super comfortable with Megan. I can time out where everything is going to go. After dancing 18 years together, mm -hmm. it looks like it's just happening. But we, have, we see this all the time on the social floor, especially now that dips and tricks are kind of cool. There's a lot of athletic people that the followers will throw themselves into it. Please try not to, because it's not actually the best way to do it. And from a high level perspective, you can fall. If you want to look really cool, you can only fall at one pace. But the leader, hold on, Miss Megan, can actually take you faster <laughs> than you can actually fall. So if you want to look the coolest, you're literally following the leader into the, uh, into the duck, the dip, the dip. dip. We're going to get to the duck. So now we talk about a couple of easy variations we can do off this. And by the way, 
We'll do it from the back side so you can kind of see. Right? I can do this off of a standard handhold, right? Tucking the hand and then doing the dip. When I come back, I want to put Megan onto her left foot. So I actually will put her onto that foot and I can hold her there until whatever we can wobble our way out of it to get back out of it. I can also do this from a free spin from this hand where I have to be really good at taking, letting go of this and reconnecting to her spine. This is the one we did in our short where I pick this up here, same setup, left sides free, and we go into the dip and we put her back on. But I said there's a variation and the variation is gonna be the rag doll. So instead of just picking her up onto that foot, one, two, three, four, right? We're gonna hit the dip but I'm gonna ragdoll her around back up to that foot. So if we look at it from this side, Miss Megan's being the crash test dummy. <laughs> Again, we're gonna do it from the standard handhold, right? Two, three, four, we set this up, we hit the spot, we ragdoll our way around and come back up. So from the leader's perspective, because again, we teach this a lot for wedding couples, right? From the leader's perspective, we get this set up, we're gonna disconnect here for just a second. From the leader's perspective, I'm gonna step on this foot and I'm basically going to pour Megan out as if I was pouring a bucket of water out. I'm gonna shift my feet around and put her back up on this foot. So I have to go to that foot to get her to her left foot. So I'm pouring her out, swinging around, back up on that foot. Megan, we'll do this sideways, we're in this position. In essence, would it be fair to say you're just sitting onto my thigh, right? So Megan, the more her hips come in to me, the easier it is for her to balance. So what I mean by that is, if Megan just leans away from me, or just lean away, no oh. hips, gets heavy fast, right? But if she takes her hips towards me, much easier, much lighter. So when we get to this position, as we get here into the dip, her knees are coming towards me. So you can see there's not a ton of weight there, <laughs> right? There's not a ton of weight there. So your hips are gonna stay forward, which we kind of didn't cover that in the regular dip. We're in this regular dip, right? Your knees and hip and foot are gonna go forward it's gonna help counterbalance you. Does that make sense? Cool. So then we, so we have the ragdoll dip, now we have the duck. So I like this because we're layering on things. We, we had, are. we started with turns. turns, right? Then we have the skill of the dip. Now we're gonna layer on the skill of the duck. So the duck, this is pretty tricky. Again, you have to be comfortable with your partner. We're gonna have the skill of the duck. Boom, so let's talk about that. Let's actually do it towards the camera. Okay. So what's happening here, this is a tricky one, is I have to rely upon her turn going well. So if that's a problem, that's why we started with the turns, I'm going to disconnect and reconnect into her uh, armpit or elbow, anywhere. Let's go ESPN 360 cam. I'm going to connect to her armpit, the harder one, where she has to duck pretty tight. Or if I connect to her elbow, there's less... Um, there's more space for her head to go through. So can you talk us through the dip, or the duck rabbit, dip and duck? From which direction would you, you pick, like Ms. me Megan? to go? This is good. All right, so followers, we do our turn. So we have one, two, three, and. That's where I'm gonna start to feel this hand. This is the only part that you have to duck on. Boom. Right, in, right at the arm, yep. You don't have to start ducking early on. We find Just that. Just that last little bit. We find that a lot, where this comes you start to see the duck over here. They're like, ah, head down. Now you have to spin with your head down the whole time. Which Again, is actually kind of fun. But. Another skill from Ms. Megan that does well. The other thing, leaders, is I want to keep this elbow up. So this elbow, if you can see ESPN 360 cam, and you can see that there's actually more space for Megan to duck her head through if I keep the elbow up. You do not want to decapitate her. So we go from this side, one, two, three and four, boom, and she's gonna connect herself. So it's another skill. Megan already learned this in the earlier skill. Now I can add the other hand if I want, pop her down, pop her back up. All right, if you want more dips and tricks, we did a video during the pandemic, a live video that's about 30 minutes long, where Miss Emily and Ben shared some of their dips and tricks with us, some stuff that Megan and I don't do. You can watch us in this video here. And if you're serious about West Coast Swing, you should check out our full access membership over on West Coast Swing Online. You can try it 14 days free here. It has all sorts of things like dips and tricks. We have a pro patterns move, advanced patterns, five different levels, and it's not just West Coast Swing. It's all your favorite social and ballroom dances, country swing, ballroom, West Coast Swing, everything in between. 14 days right here.